made it to Friday. Yay! I feel like the longest week for anybody else. I don't know about you guys, but this, <laughs> I don't know if it's winter and I'm just over it, but this felt like a really long week. So happy Friday, everyone. I hope you have awesome weekend plans. Leave me a comment down below. I want to know what you guys are up to, but today we're going to be talking about um, camping festivals and packing lists, but specifically to Camp EDC. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I have a full EDC Las Vegas playlist. There's a link down below um, if you want to check it out. Definitely sit around and watch a bunch of videos if you are getting prepared for the festival. But if you guys are camping this year, whether you're new to it or this is your second year camping, a little bit different than other types of camping festivals, being that it's not in a forest or in a field. It is in a parking lot uh, in Las Vegas outside of the Motor Speedway. This is basically going to be acting as your packing list. I will be putting in tons and tons of information and links down below in the description box. So definitely head over there. I found some really great stuff. I put it all together. So check down below in the description box for all that information. I'm pretty much gonna be going over essential things that you should be packing, you should be bringing with you. It's gonna vary depending on the type of package that you bought. Cause I think there's two different types of camping and some like higher end ones come with more things so you don't have to pack as much. But I'll also mention a couple things that are prohibited into the camping part. With all that being said, let's get right into this. If you guys aren't subscribed already, I would love it if you stuck around and you subscribed and hit that post notification bell down below so you guys are notified every time I post. Let's go, let's get into this. So the number one thing you're gonna need obviously is sleeping bags. Again, is the moon shift pods and I think there's the desert rose. Depending on what you're doing, you may not need some of these items, but obviously you're gonna need to bring a sleeping bag if you're camping. It's gonna be warmer weather. Just note that obviously it's Las Vegas in May. It definitely gets hot during the day. I would say it gets up to like anywhere from 100 to 105 degrees during the day. Um, and at night, it definitely drops down, but it was still warm. So a sleeping bag for warm weather. If you guys want, you can bring a mattress padding. Like for me, when I used to camp back in like elementary school and middle school with my family, um, we would always bring like mattress paddings just so that it's more comfortable with you, for you because you're gonna be sleeping there four nights in a row. And again, you're on like pavement. They do put down like a fake turf kind of grass situation, but mattress padding is a good way to go. Pillows, obviously don't forget your pillows. Portable chargers and cases, definitely bring whatever like external chargers you have. I always bring my Mophie charger case, uh, which is just a cell phone case, and it gives me a little bit of extra juice for the festival. Have different ways to charge your stuff. And portable speakers, this is the good thing about EDC. Everybody there is there for music and to have a good time, so you wanna be the party starter. You can't have like professional quality massive speakers, but you can bring portable speakers. I have a UE Boom. I don't think I have it right now, but it's about like this big. And um, definitely bring something so that you can be like, play some music, get to know your neighbors, have a good time. Extra flashlights, obviously you all have your phone, you have a flashlight on your phone, but if, and again, this goes for other camping festivals. If you're going to Electric Forest this summer or something else, uh, definitely you can buy like a little mini flashlight just so that you have that. Wet wipes and makeup wipes. Ladies, obviously have showers and things like that, but for me, when I'm at a festival, I don't wanna go through my entire skincare routine. It's just not gonna happen. I bring my Neutrogena wipes and I bring wet wipes. It's just an easy way to like body wash yourself and then you're done. Lock, obviously, um, I think EDC provides locks to, again, some of the campers, but not to all of them. So just bring a lock um, just in case that you can lock up your stuff and keep, make sure that it's safe. Coolers, so you can bring in coolers. That's the good thing, like you are allowed to have alcohol if you're 21 plus, uh, if you wanna bring in like food, snacks, that kind of stuff, and you wanna keep it in a cooler. Um, I found two cool ones, I found cool ones. Uh, I found a tote one that was just like easy to throw over and like carry, and then I found like a more like regular cooler that has more space in it. So depending on what you're trying to carry. And as far as alcohol goes, you're not allowed to bring in liquor, but beer and wine are okay, and you're limited to the amount that you bring in. So just read the um, list of acceptable and prohibited items on their website. This is EDC Las Vegas main website. I put down blankets, obviously. Again, it doesn't get that cold at night, but it gets cool. So bring in some extra blank blankets, whatever you think is the most comfortable. I'm a frozen bitch. I'm always cold. Lanterns, so if you want a little bit more lighting in your tent at night so you can find it or whatever it is. Because if you're out at like the parties and doing like the after parties and stuff like that, you're gonna want a way to like find your way back to your tent, which I will get into, but you can bring um, battery charged lanterns. So you can bring an 
air mattress with a pump if you want to. That's another option for you. Desert Rose Camping provides an air mattress, so you wouldn't need to in that case. But you can bring in like a little twin air mattress or something if you like really want to get bougie with it. Do whatever you need. But um, yeah, bring a battery powered pump though because obviously you can't plug it in really anywhere. So make sure you charge that before you go. Okay, obviously toilet paper and toiletries. I'll leave that up to you guys. Bring whatever <laughs> you see fit. Um, so folding chairs. This is a huge one. Um, obviously the festival is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. So you guys are going to be hanging out during the day. There's tons of things to do in the Mesa and in the Camp EDC area. But you know you're going to want to mingle with your neighbors and hang out. So definitely bring folding chairs so you guys can just sit and chill outside um, your little tents and your areas or you can be in RV parking. It's just a good way to just sort of meet people and hang out and establish like your little area of where you um, are camping. Uh, flip flops for showers, don't forget that. You know, we don't wanna be all nasty up in there. Water canteen, so I love my swell bottle. Again, I don't know where any of my shit is right now. I swear by that, it's really, really great. It keeps your water cold for like 24 hours and it keeps hot products hot for the same amount of time. Not that you're gonna want anything hot in the Las Vegas heat. But this down, a portable stand-up mirror because you're gonna get ready and do like crazy hair or makeup or anything like that just remember like it's great to have like a little mirror that you can just prop up and look at yourself in um some of your makeup products may have it on there but they're usually like pretty small so included down below a portable mirror that you can bring in just like little stand-ups so that you can do your makeup uh, trash bags keep it clean keep your area clean cards games whatever else you want to bring to entertain yourself i love cards against humanity what do you mean is hysterical frisbee a football whatever it is that you want to bring to just like interact with other people and have a good time and kill some time I mean, the camping, again, has tons of activities. They have like yoga, music, the pool, but if you wanna hang out in your tent, bring some games, cards for drinking games, whatever it may be. A good one to have, especially in Las Vegas, is a battery-powered misting fan. And bring in like a smaller, more portable one. It's the best when you just get like sprayed in the crowd by people like, you guys are the best. Okay, so a really, really big one is like any type of flags or tapestries to decorate your tent. One, so you can find your tent easier in a crowd of silver pods. You want to stand out. So bring something to decorate your tent so you can easily find it. And also, most likely going to be changing inside your tent, but this goes for other festivals like at Electric Forest and things. You can put like tapestries up so that you can change behind them and it gives you a little bit more privacy. It blocks out the sun. It provides more shade. Love Society6. Um, I have bought some of my wall tapestries from there. They have such cute like wall art, all kinds of stuff, but check them out. I've mentioned this a million times on my channel, a camelback, a camelback or a hydration pack, whatever it is, vibration is great, thrill seeker is great. Bring that for the festival in general because it's gonna be hot and you need to stay hydrated. And you can bring bottled water in with you. They're gonna have plenty of like free drinking water fountains there, but I would personally bring some bottled water as well. Sunscreen, sunglasses, hats, all of the above. It is very, very hot. I can't stress this enough dur during the day. Wear your sunscreen, especially if you're gonna be like out in the pool and like hanging outside all day. Like I'm telling you, you are literally in a parking lot when you're camping. They, they do the whole thing up beautifully. Like I saw it from the outside and I've seen tons and tons of pictures and videos. They really, really like go above and beyond to make it a cool experience. Um, Earplugs and eye masks. This is key if you are a person who like needs your rest and you need your sleep. Bring an eye mask so you can just shut out the world and bring earplugs because you don't know who's gonna be around you. Some people might party all night long, the whole weekend, and I'm telling you, you need to get rest because this is a long fucking weekend. Put this down, it's not like an essential, but for me it would be, I put down sheet masks because um, I get hella dry skin and especially like in the dry heat and things like that. Um, and if I'm not doing like my full skincare routine and I'm just using makeup wipes, for me, a mask is great for like extra hydration um, and it just sort of like tones my skin depending on the type. So I would personally pack a couple of sheet masks. I can't say masks, sheet masks, just so you can pamper yourself a little bit throughout the weekend. Vitamins you would normally take, you can bring vitamins in. I take vitamin C every day personally because my immune system is whack. Uh, but yeah, if you have any vitamins, bring those. Hi you guys, so I'm currently editing and I realized I completely forgot to mention that you can bring small um, propane grills uh, and of course like pots and pans, silverware, spatulas, cooking utensils. So I totally forgot to mention you can bring cookware and stuff like that obviously. Yeah, paper towels, cups, any of that kind of stuff that you would need to cook. Two completely random ones in the end, these were on their website. You can bring musical instruments that are acoustic, why not? And then LED hoops or whips. Uh, please, we love whips and hoops. <laughs> yeah, it's another form of entertainment. Uh, you guys who can do all this cool shit are the best. Really quickly, the things that are not allowed. Obviously, I didn't mention tents for any other festival. Of course, you would buy a tent 
for two people, four people, six people, whatever you need to fit. Um, but you do not need that in this case. You don't need a hammer and you don't need a tarp and you don't need any metal stakes. Those are not allowed. Glass bottles are not allowed. LED gloves. So this is like a big thing. EDM festivals, a lot of them don't allow gloving in. For whatever reason, people sneak people sneak them in all the time. But um, technically, you're not allowed to have LED gloves. Large speaker systems, professional recording equipment, hookahs, drugs, promo flyers, and no canopies or like large shading structures. So that is the full camping list, you guys. All this information is available on EDC's website. If you need more like detailed information or like a full list check out their site. Um, and again, check the description box down below if you guys need to purchase anything. If you guys made it to the end, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching it. We are getting so close to the festival. It is surreal. I can't wait. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye, you guys.